TNC Life, what is going on? Today we are doing a Q&A. We had you guys ask questions on Instagram and we got a bunch of them to answer for you guys. Are you ready to do a Q&A? We got too many questions that I don't even know if we can answer all of them. Hey, but yeah, let's get to the Q&A. Yeah, a lot of you guys have tons of questions about everything <laughs> when it comes to just the house, moving, you know, Jackson, the dogs, the family. So we just got a lot of questions and we're gonna answer them for you guys. If you guys have any further questions that we don't answer, you guys leave them down below so we can, you know, know what you guys need to know. Future Q&A. Just like Jackson said. Wow. Okay. What is your favorite thing about the new house? What is your favorite thing, Jackson? What's your favorite thing? One of my favorite things, I think, <laughs> is our deck outside. I love having a spot to just sit down out there. Um, it's so beautiful just to look in our backyard and hear the birds. Jackson <laughs> agrees. Jackson, Jackson loves running around back there. He loves being out there also. It's such a safe spot for Jackson and the dogs right now, so it's been really nice. It'll be even nicer once the dogs can actually go in the yard and we can just be on the deck all together. So I do love the deck. I also just love my kitchen. It's just beautiful. <laughs> it's everything I ever wanted. What's your favorite part about the house? My favorite part? Yeah. It's the backyard, but once it's, it's not finished yet. It's but not finished. We're working on it. Yeah, the backyard is huge. It's not yep. done yet. I'm waiting for the fence. I still gotta cut down some more trees. Yep. I think we're really excited about our backyard. It was definitely our biggest selling point was just to have a nice big backyard. So yeah, that's our favorite thing. I think the dogs can agree too. Well, once they can go out there too. <laughs> okay, well, I guess this one's kind of answer the same thing. Like favorite thing about your new house that your old house didn't have. And I think that's just everything that we like about this house. What we like about this house is basically the things we didn't have at the other house, like the backyard, the deck, the beautiful kitchen, you know, all this lighting coming in is all things that the other house didn't have. So I think that basically answers it itself. Also not that we didn't like the kitchen, we wanted to change the color of the yeah. kitchen. Yeah, I've always wanted the pretty white kitchen with these hanging lights. I always wanted quartz countertops. Even just like the handles. I've always wanted those handles. Like <laughs> little things like that. This kitchen is the, the probably most perfect kitchen I could ever imagine I wanted. Does Jackson FaceTime with his cousins? Do you guys call them on a certain day of the week? Um, as of right now. We call them every day. We call them every day. Obviously that might decrease as time goes on, but we for sure call both of our moms every day. <laughs> like not what they to be. You are awesome. <laughs> Hi. Well, as of like right now, we for sure call our parents every day. We don't always call the cousins every day, um, just because everybody's busy. I do usually call Missy every day, but Jackson's, I mean, with Carlos' brothers work and the kids are not always there, so. I call my mom every day and my yeah. dad. Yeah, so we Face just call time. our parents. They all want to see the baby. Of course they do. So we, we make an effort to call our parents every day at least. Here's an interesting question. I don't even know if we really know the answer to this because Jackson's so little, but you guys asked us if Jackson's going to be homeschooled. I have no idea. He might. He's just turned one, so we still got a couple years. Yeah, left. as of right now. I mean, we're still teaching him stuff right yeah. now, but not like schooling. Yeah, I'd say like as of right now, like we might homeschool. But it, that could change, you know. He's so little, I have so much time to figure that out and like, I don't know, maybe we will, maybe we won't. And our neighbors seem to really love the schools out here. They say they're amazing. Yeah. They're like top schools, they're, they're very well academically and stuff, yeah. so we, but we, we have to figure it out. But we also know people out here who homeschool who have a really great system also with their curriculum and the way they have tutors come out. So there's lots of options. Um, as of right now, we don't know for sure. Will you guys be going back to California anytime soon? So it, it, we moved out here in April, it's mm -hmm. May now. Um, obviously, we would love to visit during the summer, but I just think that's a little too soon for like a plane <laughs> like ride over a there. A couple months from now. Already. Yeah, like it would already be so soon, and just like just so like everybody knows, like it was really expensive to get out here to North Carolina, and really expensive, really expensive, and plane tickets get expensive too. So like, and boarding the dogs is expensive. So I don't think we will go out to California this summer, but I will probably, I don't, I don't think Carlos will be able to see his family this summer, but I think I'll see my family this summer because I think we're gonna all make a trip at some point to see everybody. But I don't think we're going back to California. But they're making it over here. Yeah. We're not going over there. Yeah, I think we're inviting people out here for the summer. <laughs> we don't wanna go out there. We do know when we'll be going back though to California is for sure when Missy has her baby. Um, so we'll be going out for sure and either end of September or October at some point to go see the baby, to yeah. go see family. And that's gonna be like our big trip probably. We're gonna we're gonna be out there for quite a few days to really see people and hang out. So anytime soon? Uh, probably not. <laughs> October. <laughs> this one kind of goes with the next question actually. So has it been hard being away from family? Do you think Jackson's happy in his new home? Um, Jackson has no reason not to be happy. He, he's a, he's a, just he, a happy kid. He's just a happy baby boy <laughs> and he's just having so much fun. Is that, 
As long as he's well fed, he's happy. Yeah, he's a pretty happy boy. Um, I'd say he's fine. Um, has it been hard being away from family? Yeah, yeah, it has. Every time I face time, mom, I see tears and it gets me a little bit sad. I'm like, I know, I know. I'll see you soon though. Why it has not? It has been really hard. I do think it'll get easier though. I think right now it's just like everybody's still adjusting to us being gone. We're mm -hmm. adjusting to being alone. So I do think as time goes on, it should get easier. But yeah, it has been really tough being with everybody. And, and every time we call them, or every time a weekend goes by, we know we're missing out on family time, birthday parties, you know. We've are, I've already missed a birthday party. I miss <laughs> Mother's Day, he missed Mother's Day. And that's, that's really tough. What turned you off about Oklahoma? Um, I'd say the biggest that turned me off was how boring it was. I did not have one, <laughs> one experience there that was like, wow, this was fun. This was great. It was like everything we did, I was like, this is boring. No, nothing's here. Nothing's out. Nobody's out. The weekend was like nobody was doing anything it seemed like. Um, it just seemed really boring. <laughs> and maybe we were in the wrong spot. Maybe it was the wrong time of year. But mm -hmm. it was just really boring when we were there. Um, and when we looked at houses, we really weren't that fascinated by them. We didn't see anything that we fell in love with. There was one house we kind of liked. But again, it just wasn't perfect. Um, we did try to look at this area. But this area was amazing and nobody was selling. Yeah. But then at the end of the day, like that area was nice, the house. But then like around there, there was just nothing that we could do, we felt like. There was nothing fun happening that was going to be like enjoyable. Not trying to talk smack on your guys' city if you guys live in Oklahoma. I did I did tell her maybe Tulsa would have been more fun because we were in Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. so, but we were in Oklahoma City and we were like not that impressed by the area. We were impressed by the downtown spot. We didn't find any house that we truly liked. So... That's kind of what happened there. At the end of it, I think we were just like, I don't think we can live here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the little question everybody asks. I get this question probably a hundred times every time. Another baby. When are you having another baby? Or are you guys going to wait until Jackson is two or three? We're actually waiting right now because we just did move out here. So we kind of want to explore this the rest of this year. Yeah. And we might talk about it next year, see when we want to try again. Yeah, I do think we're leaning towards once Jackson's like two. Um, I might get pregnant when he's two, which means we might not have him till <laughs> him. <laughs> might not have the baby till he's there three. Possibly he's three. So I do think that, like as of right now, it's definitely not something we're thinking about. Especially having just moved out here, being completely away from family, it just doesn't seem feasible to like you know also throw pregnancy in on that. And pregnancy is hard. And I really just want to like spend time with Jackson and be able to do all the things that I want to do with him, which is like you know be crazy and go have fun. <laughs> and once you're pregnant. Your priorities do change of like having to be more careful. You can't do all the things you want to do. You slow down. And so I, I don't really feel like going through that just yet. Um, I, hopefully it does change, but as of right now, it is not on my mind. <laughs> not this year, at least. Not this year. I, and, it, and originally, though, it was possibly this year. We were thinking maybe this year we'd get pregnant, but then as we, the year has gone on, we're like, no, I don't yeah, think we're getting we pregnant. Then we moved out here, and then we changed our mind. Yeah, mm -hmm. once we got out here, we talked about it, and we're like, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. All right, last and final question. This is a really good one because I think we have a lot of things to answer this. This person asked, what projects besides the fencing do you guys have in mind? We have so many projects in mind. We have projects in mind, but contractors are really hard right now. Yeah, but we have so much we want to do. Just to like give an idea what we want to do. I'll name off like at least three things. One of them for sure is a cover over the deck. Um, the second one is I really want to make the, the deck actually bigger. I want to make the deck like really large. I want it to be like a really cool spot that we can actually be on. And I want to cement a side out for Jackson just for, because he's starting to ride his bike so I want to have him outside. Yep. And he can't do that on the front because we are on a hill. Yep, so this cement piece would be inside on our side of the um, area that we've given ourselves and it would be a nice big flat spot for him mm -hmm. to ride bikes. I want to put a basketball hoop there. Um, that's not really a project though. That's just, <laughs> it's like an expense. There's our expenses also, just like getting a trampoline and a play set probably. Yeah. Um, like I said, I need to clear some trees out from the back. Which... Eventually, like if we extended the deck out, I would love to put a hot tub inside the deck mm -hmm. and have a hot tub. But again, that's a huge project. We would have to cement things. We'd have to get the correct outlet for it. I know it's like some big yeah, fancy expensive. voltage. <laughs> yeah, it's expensive. I'd say that's about it. There's nothing in the house we want to do other than just, you know, actually decorating the home. But I don't think there's any projects inside the home. All of our things are outside, I feel like. Like, we need yeah. to get all this outside stuff. The house done. is brand new, so I'm going to fix anything inside. Yeah. Um, another project, or maybe just like a big thing to do, is definitely like uh, address the garage eventually. We definitely just ignore the garage right now. We just throw stuff in there, and we're like, don't look in the garage. I still got boxes in there. I don't even know what's in there. I'm just like, I'm sure we got clothes in there that we still got on. There's still clothes missing. I know the garage is definitely like a thing we're going to do. We need to like install like shelving, and we need to... <laughs> 
when wow. I knew he was gonna do it. <laughs> we need to install shelving and put like things on top. Like we really need to like figure out the garage, but it's not on my mind right now. Like I could care less about the garage <laughs> right now. It is not my priority at all. We do need to also get Jackson's room figured out. He still has like nothing going on with his room. It's just a room like with toys in it, that's it. This is a little playroom still. Yeah. He's got a playroom down here, he's got a playroom upstairs. Yeah, he does. But I'd say the big ones are mostly just our backyard stuff. And all of it's extremely expensive stuff that we'll try to do over time. We do have like our priorities with what we want to get done mm -hmm. first, but there are there's a lot of projects we want to get done. And I need a truck now. <laughs> yeah, we feel like we need a truck. Feels like you can't live here without getting a truck. That's oh, and another big project I want to do is I do want to start a garden. And I want to start one this fall because I feel like I already kind of missed this one and I just feel like we're so busy with other stuff that I don't want to do the springtime uh, planting. But I do think that for fall, I do want to start like my our own garden, which will be something we start to do this summer. We'll need to make a little thing for it, um, which will be nice once we have our fencing up because I already kind of know how I want it to go. Oh, okay. We did have one more question we forgot to mention. Do you guys regret moving to North Carolina and will you ever move back to California? I don't think we want to move back to California. If anything, if we do move again, we did find, now that we're out here, we did find a lot of cool areas that we might want to live in. Yeah, um, I think that we really do like North Carolina and I don't think we see ourselves going back to California anytime soon, but as of like this house being our forever home, we don't feel like this is our forever home as of right now. So we do think that we will move again someday, which sounds mind blowing because moving here was an absolute like, there was, there was so much that had to be done. It's not that we're moving anytime soon, but this probably is not our forever home. We did buy this house without like seeing it or ever being here. We only came here at closing and there was really no tasty bags to spend them. <laughs> not that we would have take it, taken it back because really you have to live out here to know what you don't like about it. Yeah. You know, like we, even when we came out here in February, we were like, oh, it's really nice, really pretty. And then we moved in and we were <laughs> like, oh, wow. Yeah, we did talk Lots to a realtor through the phone, through the um, FaceTime and stuff. We did show it to us, we did like it. Yeah. Not that we don't love the house, but we just feel like other areas are way better. Yeah, we feel like we could have gotten something better, and I just think that now that we're out here, which I told Carlos, we just need to get out here, and then we can go from there. Now that we're out here, this probably isn't our forever home. We, but we don't know where we'll end up. For all we know, it could be a different state, but it's definitely, we're not going back to California, I think, anytime well, soon, though. Probably this could be our forever home if we fix it the way we like. We could. I mean, all, all these projects we want to do, if we end up doing them, I mean, I don't know. Why leave them? <laughs> you taking my home? Yep, I'm out of here. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. We hope you guys liked it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Smash that thumbs up button, Jesse. Ready? Smash it up. Smash it up right here. There we go. There we go. Smash that thumbs up button. Bye. And we'll see you guys next time. Say bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, he said it. <laughs>